Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but this is day three of my Montana hunt. We have had an absolute blast, at least I know I have, but today we are going out after some deer. And what's today, Thursday? Yep. Tuesday, we had an awesome stalk on some mule deer. I mean, we rode horses the whole day, I think. Clayton said 11 miles. End of the day, probably the last hour, we had an awesome, awesome stalk on some mule deer. And we saw two mule deer bucks that I would say were shooters. And one in particular, I would call them, I would call them monster. But, um, if you don't pull the trigger today, I'm gonna kill them. Well, there you go. <laughs> Clayton has a deer tag too. So this is gonna be a fun day, but we're gonna take the horses in today, see what happens, you never know. There could be a deer standing by the truck. We could go back to the same spot where we saw those bucks on Tuesday, but we're out after some mule deer today, or maybe if a whitetail pops up, but hey, it's gonna be a fun day. Check it out, there's gonna be a whole lot of action coming today. Stay tuned. All right, we got the horses loaded up. We're about to head out and try to go find something to smoke. But it's still 18 degrees. It's a little bit chilly. But we're about to head out, see if we can find something. Sometimes horses don't like ice, so just stay up close to me and let your horse follow mine. A little follow the leader. I see him. Well, we got on a really nice buck with a group of does, and we've been after him for the past couple hours, but did not smoke him. So we're gonna get up back up on the horses and do a little more riding, see what we see. Alright, so at this point, Clayton just took a shot at that mule deer buck we've been chasing for a while with his 4570. And in everything's going so fast when you're hunting and you hear that whack, I thought for sure that he had shot that buck. We were not standing right next to each other, but I could see that buck through my scope. And with everything happening so fast and hearing that impact, I thought for sure he smoked it. I was celebrating, I was happy for him. I was excited for us to go walk down there behind that rock and see that buck. But let me play it again here and you guys watch super close. You'll see that bullet hit the rock right in front of that buck. But super bummed that that rock blocked the shot. If that rock wasn't there, then Clayton would have smoked that deer with his 1886 and it would have been right there and wouldn't have gone far. But after we saw the footage on Clayton's camera that he hit the rock and not that buck, and then obviously we didn't see the buck right there, we decided to kind of go different directions on foot. So I'm going down, kind of making a circle around the left side. And next thing I hear him like, 
whisper yelling, Adam, Adam, get up here. And I had gone down a cliff, making my wide circle, trying to see if we could find this buck again. And he's like, I see the buck. And at this point, it was at over 400 yards, and he was calling me up, running, to take a shot with this rifle, my Savage 110 BH Stealth. Completely comfortable pulling off a 400 yard shot, but you'll hear me in the next clip talking about my breathing. He was yelling at me to come up there to take a shot at this deer while well, I had sprinted up this rock face, I don't know, maybe 75, 80 yards, and then over to where Clayton was, all trying to crouch low with this, you know, we got our packs on us still. So I was huffing it and huffing it to get up to this deer to take a shot. Well, meanwhile, I'm, I'm doing like this. I can't get my breathing down and I'm not gonna take a shot until I feel I have a good rest. But this next clip is when Clayton has us back on this buck at 400 yards. Check it out. Sit on your butt if you need to to get more stable. Okay, let me know when you're good. Let's let him turn just a little bit. Are you set for 414 yards? Yep, 1.8 mils. Just breathe. He'll move in just a second. If you need to readjust to get more stable, like sit down or anything, just go ahead. Man, I'm freaking breathing. Yeah, just take some deep breaths and relax. He's not going anywhere. I'm recording. Okay, I'm gonna take the Whenever you're ready. Okay. So, do you realize what you just witnessed? You just saw the first mule deer ever filmed that was on the movie The Matrix. You know what I'm talking about, where those guys are dodging bullets like <sighs> I'm gonna play this back for you. Look at this buck's neck. You can literally see where his neck does this. <sighs> and the bullet literally gives him a haircut and his neck does this like, not today buddy. And then I cry on the inside because he trots away. Check the footage out again. Ready? I'm recording. Okay, I'm gonna take the Whenever you're ready. That was ridiculous. I could not believe that I missed that deer. 400 yards with this rifle is a cakewalk. I could teach your grandma to shoot this thing 400 yards. To the right. Hang on. I can't tell where he's going.
Well folks, it's day three of the hunt here with Hooty Who up here in Montana hunting deer and elk with me. And uh, we've had a lot of fun so far and we've seen some stuff, had some opportunities. In fact, we both just missed opportunities at the same buck. Um, I had him at 220 yards with the Cimarron 1886, 4570. And I saw him stand up and he turned left broadside and I knew there was a rock in front of him but I thought he cleared it and at 220 yards with open sights I didn't notice that there was still rock in front of him and when I pulled the trigger I heard a smack I thought I killed him because he dropped right out of sight but looking at the footage I got a perfect heart shot on that rock yep. <laughs> and then Adam or hooty who he had a shot at the same buck a little bit later at 415 yards. Yep. And it just barely missed him to the right. Yep. Gave him a haircut. So now we're going to regroup, go back and get the horses, go find somewhere else or some more deer to chase. <laughs> he's you're sure he's down? Oh, man. Yeah, buddy. Yes. He, he did a circle, a ten-yard circle, shoveling, pouring blood out of him. Good. Did you hear the bullet hit? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I got it on camera or not. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Smoked him. 170 yards. I'll well, take that. The pressure is off. All right. I'll just lead the horse as you walk on out there. Is he on the opposite side over there? Oh, okay. Well, he's on this space of that hill. Oh, okay. Oh, I see him. That's awesome. I was ready to plug him with another one, but I saw blood coming out. When he had his head down, starting to show, I said, that's it. Well, you're not going back to Tennessee empty-handed now. Click, let me give you the 30-second play-by-play. I told you we got on a good buck. Clayton got us chasing a buck. And we were on it for probably two hours back and forth. Yeah. Didn't drop the buck. We both shot at him. Yeah, we both shot at it and missed. I hate to say that, but I'll admit it. And then he said, well, let's make a circle and see if they're still around. And sure enough, he spotted them glassing going over this ridge. We came to the top of the ridge. I jumped off the horse and went ahead of Clayton and the horses. And then over here behind me, I spotted out of the corner of my eye those does, and that buck was still with them. And he, Clayton, had given me his rangefinder. I yarded him at 175, dialed the mills on the scope, bam! And I popped him. He might have went five yards. It was impact, and then he did a little circle, and then I saw him go down. So right now, hey, this is right after the shot. We're going to go check out this deer. But I can't tell you how excited I am. I just dropped a Montana mule buck. Awesome. We regrouped and came around, found him again. There he is. There he is. My Montana mule deer. We finally got it done. Me and Clayton been out here most of the day. And we have literally been on this deer probably over three hours. But from the time we saw him to when I dropped him, we had both took a couple shots and missed. And then we saw where they were going, went back and got the horses and said, well, Clayton said, well, let's just kind of skirt them and see if they're still around here, kind of in the same vicinity. And then we came over this last ridge 
and he said, there they are. We rode the horses a little bit more. Clayton had me jump off my horse, and then I walked up the next ridge, and I spotted this buck, the one we've been chasing all day. He was with six or seven does still. Out of the corner of my eye, I ranged him at 175, and Clayton was making fun of me because I dialed my scope. This is a, a awesome setup. This is my favorite rifle. It's my Savage BA, Savage 110 BA Stealth in 338 Lapua Magnum. We've got videos shooting this off a of bench rest at a thousand yards over and over very accurately. Super, super sweet setup, Nikon FX1000, but we smoked this buck at 175 yards. So I could not be happier. Came up here to Montana to hang out with my buddy Clayton, the adventure cowboy, and we've been having literally an adventure every single day this week. This is the third day we've been out here and we smoked this mule deer buck and I could not be happier. Absolutely the biggest buck I've ever taken in my life. I could not be happier. But big thanks to my buddy Clayton for having me out here and guiding me out on this hunt. Incredible mule deer. Big thanks to my wife for letting me to come up to Montana and hunt all these critters with Clayton. It's been an absolute dream come true and I could not be happier. Well folks, we got it done. Mr. Hootie Who from the Hootie Who YouTube channel came out west for his first time and wanted to do some elk and deer hunting with me. And we've done both. Yep. We've seen elk sign, just no elk yet. And we've had a lot of mule deer activity. A whole lot. Uh, We've probably we seen this, over a hundred mule deer. Yeah. Yeah, we had three or four different bucks we looked at. First night we had some in the glass, but the uh, scope was fogged up and just couldn't take an ethical shot. So he didn't, and we backed out. Decided to come again another day, and it worked out. This deer, we've been on him all day long. And, uh... <laughs> um, it's been fun, though. Yeah. He was down in some a bunch of rocks with some does, and he's been chasing one doe all day. But uh, we spotted the does, and we sat there for a long time wondering where he went. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> I saw him at about 220 yards, and Adam was back behind me. And I didn't know if he had a shot, and so I got out my Cimarron 1886 4570, and I cracked off a shot at him at 220. What I didn't know was that there was a rock about the same color as him, and I got this on video. Yep. At 220 yards with open sights, I could not tell that it was a rock in front of him. And, uh, boy, I thought I hit him because I heard a whop, but we looked at the footage and I just heart shot at a rock. And then Adam took a shot at him at 415 yards, yep. and it just went right in front of his neck, just a narrow miss. And then they took off and we kind of regrouped and tried to decide what to do. And I said, well, let's get on the horses and let's make a big loop around the direction that they went. And maybe we'll spot them again because he's so worried about breeding does, he's not running away too far. It doesn't seem like anyway. So we came headed this way and I spotted him at about 360 yards. And he ran over the other side of the hill away from us. So we Rode a little closer, I had Hootie Hoo get off the horse and go ahead of us with his rifle because I was pretty sure once he got to the top of the ridge looking down over here that he'd see that buck. And uh, sure enough, 175? Yep, 175. 175 yard shot with a rifle that shoots 1500 yards, yep. pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting a Savage 110 BA Stealth in 338 Lapua. And uh, he practiced out to a thousand yards before he ever came out here. And then we shot it again uh, the first morning he was here just to make sure everything was on. It turns out he didn't even need to use the dials on his scope, but he did anyway. <laughs> I didn't sure, want to miss this guy. I'm sure glad Hootie Who came out here. This is the first YouTube collaboration that the Adventure Cowboy has ever done. So to have somebody with as many subscribers as Hootie Who come out here is a is an honor for me, and he's a good guy, and uh, he's become a really good friend over the years. So, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me out.
This is a beautiful deer and it's a dream come true. Never shot a mule deer and this is the biggest deer I've ever taken in my life. Look at that sunset behind us. Sun's going down over the hills and we got that mule deer. Oh boy. I'm trying to drive a horse and a phone at the same time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Look. We got that mule deer packed out on pistol there. And we're headed back out to the truck. Had an awesome adventure of a day. Appreciate y'all big time. Big thanks to my buddy Clayton, the Adventure Cowboy, for having us out here in Montana, man. You can't believe these views until you see it for yourself. Like, that's ridiculous. But we'll see y'all in the next one. Appreciate y'all. A huge, huge thank you to my buddy Clayton, the Adventure Cowboy, for inviting me out there and taking me hunting with him. Cool thing about this hunt, this is real life, guys. So we're not some big, fancy pants, famous stars or something that they take out and just say, hey, go take this rifle that we're going to sponsor you with and you go shoot that monster inbred deer and put it on TV. This is real life stuff. He had tags, in-state tags. I had to apply to the lottery to get drawn for mule deer tags and elk tags and got drawn. We went out there, shot this buck on public land, you know, spent time looking for him and everything. This is real life stuff, which I think makes it even a hundred times cooler. Regular everyday dudes out there having a blast, having an adventure, making some memories. So trip really meant a lot to me. Appreciate Clayton. Y'all go tell him that you appreciate him as well. Do me a favor and go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's got all kinds of stuff on there. I can't even start to tell you all the stuff that I've learned from Clayton. So y'all go tell him that you appreciate him. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Hopefully in the future, we'll make some more memories out there in Montana. And uh, I know I didn't have an antelope tag this time. Maybe next time we can do some antelope hunting too. But Appreciate y'all big time. Appreciate Clayton. Y'all go tell him that you appreciate him too. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo-hoo!